Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. As fans across the globe take part in this year's Comic-Con at home, Star Wars fans were provided with some exciting information on current and upcoming Star Wars comic and novel projects. The Lucasfilm Publishing Panel dropped some really great nuggets of information on projects that I'm super excited about. The panel featured authors Justina Ireland, Tim Segura, Rebecca Roanhorse, Timothy Zahn, Alyssa Wong, Greg Pak, Preeti Cheever, Greg Mann, Tom Engelberger, and was moderated by Kristen Baver and Robert Simpson. If you haven't watched the panel, definitely check it out. I'll make sure to add a link below so you folks can watch it. So let's talk about some of the upcoming releases and information that we were provided in the panel discussion. Starting with the project that I'm absolutely beyond excited for, the Lightsaber Collection. Per StarWars.com, the Lightsaber Collection will give us a wide-ranging look at the evolution of the elegant weapon, boasting gorgeous, highly detailed illustrations of some of the most iconic and influential lightsabers throughout Star Wars, as well as new portraits of each lightsaber wielder. When Lucasfilm Publishing senior editor Robert Simpson started talking about this project, I was beyond elated by what I was hearing. The book will be a comprehensive look at every lightsaber hilt we've seen in the Star Wars films and series, with information on the creation of the lightsabers, new portraits, and info on the wielders of those lightsabers, as well as interviews and backstories pertaining to those lightsabers. Lightsabers were one of the things that made me love Star Wars as a kid, so to say that I'm ridiculous thrilled about this release would be an understatement. We also got information on the new Poe Dameron novel, Freefall, from Tim Segura, which will connect the Resistance pilot to his past as a spice runner and introduce us to a young Zori Wynn and Babu Frick. The novel will help connect some of the dots on Poe's backstory in regards to what we learned about him from The Rise of Skywalker, such as being a spice runner, working with Zori Bliss, and we'll even get some information about his parents. Freefall will drop on August 4th of this year and will be interesting for sure. Next up we got some information on the Star Wars adventure Shadows of Vader's Castle comic series which will see the series returning to Vader's Castle and will drop in October of this year. The series will be a 30 page one shot from IDW, will be written by Kavan Scott and is going to be another spooky take on stories inside the Dark Lord of the Sith's castle. We also got information that the Star Wars adventure series is getting a reboot. Readers will be able to experience stories that span various eras of the Star Wars timeline and the this series will see the addition of some new creators, which should be fun. Continuing on the comics front, my boy Greg Pak spoke about the current Darth Vader series and what fans can expect in the upcoming arc for the series. Pak mentioned that Vader claims he settled all of his previous business from the first arc of the series, but the Emperor knows better. Furthermore, Darth Vader will receive some sort of punishment, which will result in him taking up a quest of sorts. He continued on to say that there are key elements that will tie into Episode 9, and I can only speculate on what that might mean, but I'm wondering if we may see Vader travel to Exegol, which would be so dope. I'm loving this series so far, so I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't dived into it yet. We also got some insight into the rebooted Dr. Aphra series by Alyssa Wong. Wong went on to say that Afra is in search of a rare artifact, the Rings of Veil, vale, and that she's got a new crew including a disgraced professor, a vicious grad student, a classic dashing handsome rogue, and of course, Black Chrysanthemum. I love the Dr. Afra series, and she's such an awesome character so I'm looking forward to this a bunch. We also learned that the art of Star Wars Galaxy Edge by Amy Ratcliffe will be released next spring on April 27th, 2021. As the title suggests, the book will provide an inside look at the art and innovations that led to the creation of Galaxy's Edge. The next two releases I'm extremely excited for. First up, let's talk about The Empire Strikes Back from a certain point of view. I loved From a Certain Point of View, so I was extremely excited when the announcement was made that we're getting a follow-up to that book for Empire Strikes Back. We got to hear from Tom Engelberger, who mentioned that he'll again be providing insight into the Wills, the beings responsible for the recording of galactic events that make up Star Wars, and their point of view of the events that transpired during The Empire Strikes Back, which sounds like it'll be a fun short story. The book will feature 40 stories by 40 authors reimagining the classic sequel through the eyes of a litany of background characters. I can't wait for this book. We are also going to be getting another anthology series, The Clone Wars, Stories of Light and Dark. 
This book of short stories is going to be a retelling of some of the more memorable episode arcs of the Clone Wars animated series. Tom Engelberger and Rebecca Roanhorse both briefly discuss their contributions. Rebecca's story is about Maul and when he was found on Lotho Minor by his brother Savage Opress. It takes a look at Maul's mind and his obsession with revenge on Obi-Wan Kenobi after all those years of isolation. Tom's story revolves around the legendary bounty hunter Cad Bane when he unknowingly teams up with an undercover Obi-Wan to kidnap Palpatine and we'll get his point of view on that event. I'm so excited to read this book and can't wait to find out what other arcs we'll be reading about. We also heard from Justina Ireland on her upcoming book, The High Republic, A Test of Courage. The novel is going to follow 12-year-old Avon Staros, the great, 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 etc. ancestor of Sana Staros, who, as Justina said, is the best scoundrel to have ever scoundreled. Avon is sent to the outer reaches of the galaxy by her politician mother, where she encounters Jedi Knight Vernestra Rowe and Padawan Imri when the great disaster occurs. Give me all of the High Republic stories. Seeing Justina his excitement for her new book is infectious to say the least. Next up is Greg Mann, author of Star Wars Myths and Fables, who gave some info on the six new stories that are going to be released later this year for Star Wars Myths and Fables. The stories will be considered in-universe, which I think is so cool, and they'll be set on Batu, Endor, Dathomir, and Mon Cala. Mann also gave a little bit of information on Star Wars Dark Legends, which is the dark side version of Myths and Fables, which is dropping later this week and I can't can't wait to dive into that. Timothy Zahn, author of the Thrawn novels, also provided some info on the upcoming Thrawn trilogy and its first installment, Thrawn Ascendancy Chaos Rising, which is due out September 1st of this year. I skipped this part of the panel because I'm not all caught up on the Thrawn novels. Whoops. Nevertheless, lots of awesome content that'll be dropping in the near future to be really excited about. Definitely check out the panel if you have a chance. But what future Lucasfilm publishing project are you most excited about? Let us know down in the the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe and stay nerdy.